school says national anthem won't be played, so athletes make their own announcement. When a college announced that the national anthem wouldn't be played, football fans believed that their beloved teammates were staging a protest to disrespect the flag. However, as soon as the players realized that all eyes were on them, they decided to make an announcement of their own right there on the field. Millions of sports fanatics have decided to boycott their favorite team since millionaire athletes are using their paid time on the playing field to flaunt their unwanted political opinions. In fact, the pro sports community has predictably made the worst branding decision in history by allowing their athletes to hatefully demonstrate against our military, emergency responders, and even whites, who make up the majority of their consumers. Although this hypocritical and entitled victimhood mentality has seeped its way into our education system, attendees of one college playoff were pleasantly surprised to see that there are still respectful young men who love and appreciate their countrymen. Shortly after Trinity College and Hamilton College football players took Jesse, Millerfield in Hartford, Trinity's stadium announcer informed the crowds that they would not be airing the national anthem before kickoff because there was a technical issue with the PA system. Expectedly, some spectators initially thought the odd announcement was merely an attempt to prevent discourse concerning the controversy over the Star-Spangled Banner. Unbelievably, players weren't taking the school's announcement as the final word. The Hartford Courant reports that both Trinity and Hamilton players broke out in an impromptu performance of the Star-Spangled Banner, refusing to allow a technical malfunction or national controversy to prevent them from their right to honor the American flag. With hands over hearts, almost every teammate proudly saluted and vocalized the national anthem much to the crowd's shock and amazement. When interviewed, players showed no shame in decidedly leading fans into the a cappella rendition of the national anthem. Ethan Sarasi, a senior at Trinity, explained that he chose to lead the unrehearsed performance to hear his teammates, as well as Hamilton players, join in, according to the Daily Wire. A lot of the guys on the team love the national anthem, the Trinity College senior fullback from North Haven said Monday. Love listening to it, love singing it, and love America. We get all jacked up and then we hear there are technical difficulties. That's like dot no breakfast in the morning or mom didn't cook you dinner. So, you make it yourself, right? It was amazing, especially with what we're seeing in the NFL the political climate that not only the rest of our team joined in but Hamilton and all the fans joined in, too, Sarasi said. It was truly amazing. Although the sound could be heard going in and out, players remained unfazed and continued to belt out the American note. Despite many of the young men understandably having trouble reaching the high notes and staying in key, the unity displayed was enough to send fans into wild applause at the finale. A couple of guys on our team were like no man, you gotta play the song, Devani said. And then a couple guys just started singing. We weren't all in sync. We had like three different waves of the Star Spangled Banner going. The players are aware of the contention surrounding the national anthem and that it's become popular yet meaningless to kneel or sit while others salute the flag, especially for professional athletes. However, Sarasi articulated that while he recognizes their right to protest even disrespectfully, he understands what the flag truly represents. Our First Amendment allows people to protest, Sarasi, a political science major said. I think they have every right to be protesting. I personally see the flag more than cloth and color. I see it as a binding force for the country even though people disagree with what's going on politically these days especially with kind of a wild card president and some wild card policies but in general I see it as a way to respect those who came before us, who allowed us the freedom to protest and fight for it every day. It's something I hold true in my heart and I know a lot of guys on the team do, too. The players who stood to salute the flag and unabashedly sing the Star Spangled Banner know the true meaning of honoring the American flag. Unlike the incessantly whining millionaires in the NFL, they understand that the flag doesn't represent a particular president, government, political party, or even the police officers and service members that these bigoted high-paid athletes so vehemently despise but are too cowardly to admit. They know that the flag represents their country and its freedoms, which even give them the right to disrespect it if they so choose.
Incredibly, these young men are more grateful and aware of what our flag represents than the filthy rich professional athletes who are ignorantly using their disrespect of it to denounce unrelated issues. Thank you for watching this video. What do you think about this? Share this on Facebook and Twitter along with your comments. comments.